Whenever a new version of Vintage Story is released, I can't wait to jump in and start trying out the new features. The problem is, I may not be able to upgrade my game files because of certain mods. So what do you do? Hey everybody, I'm Shino, and welcome to my series, How Do I? In this series, I show you some of the tips and tricks I've picked up over the years, and hopefully, you can find something that can help you out. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install separate versions of Vintage Story on your PC. Okay, so we are looking at the Vintage Story website, and we can see right now the recommended download is 116.5, and if you look under the other goodies area, you'll see an area down here usually for the, pre -re for the preview releases or the pre-releases, and I'm going to click on that. And we can see that the most current one is Pre-5. So Pre-5 is the most current pre-release. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this Windows Full Installer. And it is going to give me a location that I can save it to. And we're just going to save it to our normal downloads. So we'll save that. Now once that is downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and execute and run that. So where it says, no version of Vintage Story was detected, do you want to uninstall it first? We're going to say, no, we don't want to uninstall it first. And we're going to choose a new directory for this. And since we are installing uh, a pre-release, I'm going to go and I'm going to call this 117 pre 5 and I'm going to hit next. At this point, I do not want it to create a shortcut key. Okay, we'll do that ourselves. So hit next. That's where we want to install it to. We're going to sit install. Okay, once it's done installing, we don't want it to launch yet. We're going to go ahead and hit finish. And that takes care of that part of it. Now we're going to go into our file explorer. And we're going to go to our D drive. I'm installing this on the D drive. I'm going to go to the games file. I'm going to go to vintage story. And you're going to see now I have three versions of the game running 116.4, 117, which I think is pre release three right now, and then this pre release five. I'm going to go ahead and go into this pre release five file. And you're going to see all the game files are installed there just like you would normally have. But what I need to do now is I need to create a separate data area. So if we go back and we look at 117, we can see there's a data file here. And that data file is where it stores my mods, save files, all, all the, the uh, player files is all stored in this area. So I don't want to... I don't want to take this data and migrate it into the pre-release 5 just yet. So what I'm going to do is under the new one that I installed, pre-5, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it data. Just like that. Okay, so now I have a data file here, but there's nothing in it and I don't need anything in it just yet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the shortcut. And I'm going to rename this shortcut just so that I don't get it confused with anything. I'm going to call it the 117 35 shortcut. Okay. Now let's open up the properties on that. And what we're going to do now is there is some information here that we're going to need to change. On this target, we need to tell it that the pathway that it's looking for for the data file is right here, not wherever else it's looking for in the default location. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this data area and I've got this one. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say copy address as text. And now I'm going to go back in to properties. There we go. And one of the things that I've done to kind of help myself out is I've created a little 
map right here that says add this to the target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this area right here and I'm going to paste in that new pathway. Okay, I'm going to leave that at data path and all that the same. And now I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go right here to the end of this statement and I'm going to paste it in right there. Okay, so this is what you're going to be typing in. It's that uh, hyphen hyphen data uppercase P for path equals and then your pathway, the one that we copied from up here, is what's going to paste in that area. Okay, once, once that is done, double check it. Looks good. I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to hit OK. So now that I've done that, now all I need to do is double click on the shortcut and that should launch a new version of Vintage Story 1.17 Pre 5 on my computer and create all the data libraries and it will no longer impact any of my previous saves. So here we go. Okay, and just like that, you look down the lower corner and you see now it says version 1.17.0 pre-release 5. And if I go to single player, you see there's absolutely nothing here. There's no file. So this is a fresh, complete install of Vintage Story. Now, if I go back in to the data library, you'll see now for that pre-release 5, it's populated all the files that we're going to need. And it has an area now to save everything so we can add new mods in here we can create new worlds and save it and play and test it to our little heart's content all right folks hey that's going to do it for this episode hope you found it helpful if you did hit the like button think about subscribing to my channel i'd really appreciate it until next time take care